वेलकम बैक यू आर वॉचिंग पार्ट थ्री ऑफ ट्रबल शूटिंग वार्निंग हेल्थ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर ए डी आर विच स्टैंड फॉर ऑटोमेटिक डायग्नोस्टिक रिपोजिटरी बिफोर गोइंग फर्दर आई वुड रिकमेंड यू टू वॉच पार्ट वन वेयर वी रेप्लीकेटेड स्टक थ्रेट सीनारियो एंड पार्ट टू वेयर वी एनालाइज अवर लॉक्स एंड सी हाउ टू ट्रबल शूट द इशू If you are new to my channel don't forget to check out my channel for more interesting videos related to web logic administration and soa development Let's see what is ADR ADR is a part of Oracle Fusion middleware diagnostic framework it is a file based repository for diagnostic data such as traces and dumps the oracle fusion middleware component store all the incident data in the adr so let's see what is the adr file hierarchy and what is adr base and adr home so adr root directory is also known as adr base so let's try to locate that in our server so we are in our domain home and we'll go to servers then you can go to server inside that we have adr so this is our adr root directory and we call it as adr base as well within adr base we have adr home so adr base is a root directory for adr and we can have multiple adr homes inside our adr root like we can have different instances such as admin server or main server inside this adr base so this is our adr base uh, let's try to go to adr home so we have uh, this folder for diagnostic then we have ofm then we have our domain folder inside that uh, we can have multiple folders for different servers and uh, here we have uh, incident inside our server name so whatever incidents are related to osb server 1 will be stored inside this folder and uh, you can see here so as we have seen earlier this is a diagrammatic view of uh, adr file path hierarchy here we have adr base uh, here we have diagnostic folder inside that we have ofm then we have domain name folder then we have server name until here we have adr home and inside adr home we have different different folders like alert incident and uh, many different folders for diagnostic dump and inside uh, these folders you can further see uh, folders for different different incidents so this is the example for incident file path hierarchy uh, now let us see how incident creation happens so this is our main server and the first step is with the product uh, we register diagnostic rules so whenever we install any product like osb soa it comes with predefined diagnostic rules in the next video we will see how we can customize this uh, diagnostic rules so first step is to register diagnostic rules to incident detection log filter after that our product will generate logs to odl log handler uh, using java.util logging api so next step is odl log handler will send this log messages to incident detection log filter and based on diagnostic rules incident detection log filter will identify incidents and will create incidents in the adr then odl log handler will write the messages in the log file so the diagnostic logs which we see in the server logs uh, is written by odl log handler uh, let me show those logs to you so if you can see this diagnostic dot log is written by odl handler to that uh, uh, incident detection log filter will execute application dumps and component dumps and those dumps will be written to adr uh, file directory then incident detection log filter will invoke uh, web logic diagnostic framework image bean and uh, diagnostic image will be taken 
in this step and in the next step this image will be returned to the adr so guys this is how the entire process works it begins with diagnostic rules so where all the rules uh, for example stuck thread rules or error rules or uh, rules related to memory are written so based on those rules uh, we are creating incident to adr framework and uh, these incidents are uh, really helpful when it comes to troubleshooting warning health of a server so far we have seen uh, the conceptual aspect of adr incidents now i will make my server to run in warning health and we will see what details we get inside incident so this is my server logs location i am going to adr home so here we have ADR. Now I will go to diagnostic and then OFM, domain, server, and incident. You can see we already have many incidents here. So I am clearing this up. So now we don't have any incident inside uh, this uh, ADR incident folder. As you have seen in the previous video, we replicated a stuck thread scenario. So again, we are going to call same service so that our server can go into warning state and we can see the incident here. So I am calling my service. And uh, you can see our server is running with OK health, but it will go to warning in some time. And now it is running in warning health. So now let's go to ADR incident and see if there is any incident or not. And you can see we have one incident. So incident, so this is the naming convention for the incident. And this is the serial number for that incident. So let us open this incident. So it has captured a different sort of matrix as part of incident capturing. Uh, we'll go to readme.txt and see what uh, details are there inside this file. And uh, here you can see we have our problem key. And uh, here you can see we have uh, the service name for which the thread is got stuck. And uh, uh, we have uh, some other information related to stake trace. You can see. So this thread is stuck due to our sleep statement, which we have put in our OSB service. And also from the ADR, you can copy context ID and search it in the OSB logs to find uh, uh, more details related to this uh, incident. So let us copy this context ID and try to search in our server logs. But uh, before that, we will see what else we have inside the other files, which is inside uh, this incident folder so in the jvm threads uh, we have jvm thread dump and uh, here again you can see this is our uh, thread dump and uh, the similar error is here so similarly these are some other matrix which uh, uh, ADR framework captures. Uh, so if you are not able to solve uh, your issue by readme file or and if you want to see more details for the incident, you can check these logs and you can also supply these logs to Oracle SR so that they can check diagnostic data and uh, resolve your issue. So as we have seen earlier, uh, let's try to uh, find the context ID in the server logs. So I am trying to grab a context ID here. And uh, you can see uh, we have related information for the context ID uh, that is our stuck thread info and uh, the service info for which the thread is stuck. Uh, from ADR logs, you can also get uh, ECID information. So it will be easier for you to detect uh, what is causing your server to go into warning state if you have an incident with you now let us try to search our incident in our em console 
so i have logged in uh, to em console and i will go to log info so inside osb cluster we have osb server i will go to view log messages and here we can search incident so you can untick this uh, check boxes for the error warning notification trace and unknown and i will try to search incident here so let's say you want to search for last 30 minutes and you can write incident here so here we have our incident information and you can see this incident is raised for this service and uh, from here you can also get uh, incident location and uh, you will be able to see your thread number as well that's it for this video in the next part we will cover adr ci command line utility along with this we will try to uh, configure diagnostic framework settings we will also cover problem separation and we'll try to create an incident manually if you found this video helpful uh, you can like my video subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the further notification and don't forget to leave a comment so that i can cover different different topics for you thank you